Hello, everybody. Today I'm here to showcase three more characters. Now, unfortunately, uh, we have to leave Mushu behind um, to showcase with the next set of characters, which should be coming um, next week, I'm pretty sure. Or at least the new sign in here will be shown off. Um, but today we're starting off with Mulan, who I have uh, fully upgraded and everything, going through her animations. She looked pretty great. Um, I wanted to get her upgraded more, but I also wanted to get this video out as soon as I could. So we'll have to wait on that. And then here is Li Shang. Um, and I could get him up a little bit more. But seeing as he's not going to be part of my main team, I might as well save those, um, those badges for another time. So we'll just have to go through these animations like this. I think that was all of them. He's the only character that you can't do it. Uh, I think it's just because some of his animations are unique to um, the stance that he's in. And we'll see that a little bit more in battle, hopefully. And then finally we're going to do Mickey Mouse. And I kind of just base this off of this, the views and the characters people wanted to see. And Mi Minnie was definitely the one that people wanted to see more. So going through her animations. And we know Pluto will be with her, so I can't wait to see him in action as well. Um, last time I'm pretty sure we went through a whole chapter, but I don't plan on doing that this time, but I guess we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll keep these two in, I guess, for now. Actually, I'll put in Joy. But um, if Mr. Incredible is just wiping them out, maybe I'll put in Barbosa instead. Uh, but... Here are the three characters. Alright, let's see what they're like here. Um, I have a feeling that they're not going to do a lot, all that much because of Mr. Incredible. So I'll probably switch them out for Barbosa. Um, but yeah, I, I'm interested to see Li Shang and how he changed. There went Pluto, if anybody <laughs> wanted to see that. Um, yeah, like I said, Li Shang has those different um, abilities that I'm not sure completely how they work uh, but yeah let's put in Barbosa for this next one and then hopefully he'll do a bit more luckily Joy doesn't attack so we know that she isn't influencing it in any way um, maybe they're all gonna die though <laughs> Olaf throws them all uh, they're, they're standing the ground um, yeah, right now I'm focusing on Li Shang and seeing what he's up to. Uh, is he the one that puts the, the shield on everybody? Um, I know it's not any of the other ones. Or it could... Hold on a second. Why do you think we need to go into the midway, Buzz? There's a Star Command cabinet in the arcade that Rex said has been behaving strangely. It keeps asking for a secret code. Okay. So again, the story interrupts and has nothing to offer. Um, I think Li Sheng is the one that gives us the shield, which is definitely helping out the, the lower level characters here. Maybe I should focus on Mini now, because... Yeah, like his, I know his stances are doing different things, I just don't necessarily know what. So there she did the perfume. Um, does that heal? I think that the perfume either buffs us or heals us. There went. Go, there goes Pluto. So he's definitely not in it as much as like um, Raja or Sven are, which I guess makes sense why he isn't like it. This isn't a duo character because he just runs through, and you got to get a pretty good look there because it kind of stopped when he was running by. Yeah, Pluto looks good. Um, I know people are disappointed that he's not his own character, and I guess. I would, I kind of would like him to be a character, but also I'm okay with uh, saving that spot for some others as well. And who knows, maybe they'll 
they'll still make him one. Um, I, I kind of doubt it, but maybe if the demand is high enough, I don't know. Um, and I thought this week was, con or the update with Mini was considered the anniversary update, but I saw um, them referencing next week's update as the anniversary update. So I'm confused as to um, if they're both like for the anniversary or if one is, and I'm just um, getting confused on that. But uh, if next week is anniversary, I'm curious who they're going to add to celebrate it. I know people wanted Kim Possible for a long time, and I think I saw them saying Kim wasn't coming for the anniversary, but if she isn't coming, then who would who would be the character? Because I thought Minnie was the one that they were kind of advertising as the anniversary character, especially when they gave her away. But like I said, I could have swore that they were referencing next week as an anniversary update as well. So I wonder who that could be. Um, and I wonder if they're just going to do the sign in here next week or if they're going to add another hero to that. Uh, they, they've done that in the past for sure. And it has been, I w or I guess, what did it have been two? Yeah, it'll, it'll be two weeks uh, since the last update. Uh, tomorrow will be the a week since the last update. So yeah, I, I suppose there could be two characters um, coming next week in an update. Uh, I guess I can go through some of the characters we know are coming. Um, I'd say there's a pretty good chance that the Evil Queen from Snow White is coming. Um, just because she's been in the game for a long time, but also Goliath has for a long time as well. And since that's more of a classic character, maybe that would fit into the anniversary theme. Uh, let's take out Incredible again. So you guys can kind of see um, the other heroes standing their ground. I also think since Minnie is so leveled up that maybe she is also helping out a lot. Um, anyway, some of the other characters that are coming out. We, we just found out Davy Jones is coming, so I don't think that he would be this week already. Um, it'll probably be a little bit before then. I guess we've known Belle is supposed to come for a long time. So maybe Belle is finally ready. And that would be a good anniversary celebration. Since they've teased her for such a long time. Uh, and it would also be adding to an old series. Which they have been doing a lot recently. We've had Gaston and Beast for a very long time. So it would make sense to finally add Belle back in. Uh, I can't remember if we, we know of any other characters. I already talked about Kim Possible. Um, yeah, I think those are all of them. The Milan characters really took out the big chunk of characters we knew that were coming. And with each uh, data mine, it seems like there have been less characters found that they've been working on. And maybe they're just getting um, more handy in keeping that a secret. Or there just aren't as many characters in there due to um, current events. Uh, but yeah, that, that, those are my thoughts on the update that will be coming out soon. Um, I don't think it'll be a new character we haven't heard of, although it is entirely possible, and I think it has happened a few times where we just haven't heard of them, and they came out of nowhere. I would, I would really like that, I guess. It's a, a new surprise for me. But yeah, uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on the upcoming update before we actually know what it is, uh, that was it. <laughs> So uh, I guess I can talk about my thoughts on the characters we're showcasing here. Um, like I said, uh, Mulan I didn't get upgraded as much as I wanted to, but it seems like since my healer is constantly helping out and Li Shang is usually using a shield, uh, that they're mostly staying alive, although <laughs> of course she died as soon as I started mentioning that. But for the most part they've been um, staying alive, I've gotten 3 stars on all the um, main uh, levels here so th they seem all right and maybe um, if I had used Mushu I would have seen how well a Mulan team could work uh, of course I could add uh, Shan Yu in there as well and really get the full Mulan uh, team going I doubt there will ever be any more Mulan characters because I really don't know who else they could add I kind of think they should have uh, put Tricky in the um, the moveset with Mushu, and made that a a duel. Uh, what is it? 
a dual character. That would have worked out um, pretty good and would have definitely covered all the bases for the, the Mulan characters. I guess there are some side characters, but they really aren't um, like as noteworthy as the rest of the ones here. But I, I'm happy, or I guess I'm not as big of a fan of Mulan as a lot of people are. But I think that if you are a fan of Mulan, Mulan, that you'll definitely be happy with the amount of characters we got. And, I mean, Li Shang, I think, was the most unnecessary one. But, uh, I mean, if you... I guess I don't know a lot of people who Li Shang is their favorite character. And in my opinion, Li Shang is the most forgettable character in the entire game. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. He just seems a little out of place compared to the rest of the the bigger heroes and bigger villains. Um, it seems like when, I guess, it's the same case with like, uh, Shank from Wreck-It Ralph, who's only in the sequel. And um, she was the only character added from the sequel. And the rest of them are also iconic, that she kind of feels out of place. But, uh, Li Shang, I feel like, just becomes forgettable when it comes to the uh, other 100 plus characters in the game. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't hate Li Shang, he's just not as interesting as the rest. Um, I also haven't noticed the that Mulan um, firework or that launch, and that looked pretty cool. Does she do that at the start of every round? Yeah, it looks like she starts around with that um, that hit, and I really like that move actually. Um, like like I said before, I don't look into the skills all that much, so I, I kind of just discover them as I go, and I don't always know what the animations are tied to, which skills. So like like I said, I know uh, Li Shang has a lot of different uh, styles, and his different stances do different things. But I'm not entirely sure what those are. Um, and Mr. Incredible is dominating again. I gotta take him out. That's kind of why I like uh, Mr. Incredible on my team because he really uh, he can really take out the whole the whole um, the whole enemy team in, in one hit most of the time at least. And that's why when I'm showcasing, I don't like to put him in. But as you saw, I lost a couple of these because uh, my team wasn't hitting enough. And Barbosa doesn't do much on his own. If I'm being honest, Barbosa uh, could easily be taken off my team. It's too bad that I've leveled him up so much that he's already R6. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty high level character, but it doesn't even feel like he does all that much. But I guess if I were to add someone else to my team, he would make a good, um, like, B team or, or in the Coliseum, he would make a good, um, a good character to put on my second team. And speaking of that, uh, I'm actually in the the first place for Platinum One in Coliseum, which is a little nerve wracking because I know that you can get kicked out of Challenger, and I'm really hoping that I can just unlock Tron and then not have to worry about Challenger ever again. So I'm hoping to stay in it for at least long enough to get Tron. I wish Tron was um, only one star so I could just get him easier and then be done with him. But I'm really hoping that I can stay in Challenger, unlock Tron, and then uh, and then move on. And if any of you, uh, <laughs> this is pretty stupid, but if you're in my server and you, you're up against me in any way, uh, just let me win. Come on, I need to showcase Tron. That's all I want, man. It's the only character I don't have, and he's been out for so long. I think he's been in the game since, like, February, hasn't he? And he's the only character I haven't unlocked. Just because he seems so, um, out of... out of reach for free-to-play players. Or even, I guess, just more skilled free-to-play players are probably able to access him. But I foolishly took the time to um, showcase all these characters. And I think about sometimes how 
um, if I wasn't showcasing characters, how I would never play as these guys. Like, I would probably never put Minnie Mouse in my team ever if I wasn't um, making a video about them. And it makes me curious as to what other people do when they get new characters. Because sometimes I see some characters on um, other YouTubers' teams that they just never bother upgrading. So I guess they never wanted to really show them off in battle all that much. Which um, I understand, but that's just kind of what I like to do. But I am curious as to um, how many characters people will just leave at the bottom once they unlock them. Because uh, if you're not playing an end with your team, there really is no point to upgrading them whatsoever. And a lot of those resources could go towards your um, your higher your higher up characters, and um, could really help uh, focus on getting a good Coliseum team. In my experience, Coliseum is way easier to uh, get through than Arena because Arena you need one really good team, whereas if you have a pretty good uh, set of characters for Coliseum, you can basically stay at the top forever, which is why I, I am in first right now, simply because um, I was able to spread out a pretty low level team um, and take out the, the person that just happened to be in first. Like there are people in first that had a, a dominating team that I would never be able to beat and I just happened to notice that there's a team that I could beat in first place uh, yesterday. And I stayed in first place all day. Of course I could get taken out any second here. But I've been in it, I've gotten my timer down to about two days now I think. So that I've taken a whole day off of my timer there. And I'm pretty proud of that even if I don't make it up to Challenger um, in, the, in the upcoming week. Alright, some more dialogue here. What's our next step, Buzz? From what Rex said, we need to get to the final battle with Zerg to get the prompt for the secret code. You gotta be kidding me, we have to play a video game to find the next clue? Don't worry, last girl, this is in my code. Just keep the creeps away and watch a true master at work. Man, we have to play a video game to, to get this done? That's, a, that's crazy that I'm playing a video game <laughs> to do that. We're about done with uh, chapter 20... 20... One, 20? I think we're just on chapter 20, right? And I've been doing a whole chapter each time. Um, every time I get to 50 minutes, I have so little of the chapter left that I I feel like I might as well just do it. Um, and it's, it's been working out. I only have a few battles left here. So I guess I'll take the time now to say thank you guys for watching this. I doubt anybody actually watches this far into it. Or maybe you just skip to the end to see what's going on there. But yeah, my final thoughts on the characters is... I like that even though Pluto probably isn't going to be a character, he's at least in Minnie's moveset and gets some representation. Um, I, I, I like Mulan's initial move where she launches that firework into the crowd right away. And I like um, Li Shang's ability to, to shield everybody with that specific stance. Now it doesn't happen right away, which is unfortunate, but it seems like when he gets um, his yellow bar all the way up, I guess that's maybe his white skill then, that he's able to do that. Um, we might die here because of Mr. Incredible. That's okay, we'll come back in. Um, but yeah, Minnie Mouse is definitely the most leveled up on this team. And she was the one that was able to hold her ground the best. Even though they're all dead now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to win this one. I don't know if Barbosa is strong enough. I guess it depends on what characters are left after this, because he'll probably make it through the second round. Unless Mickey is too leveled up. Oh, no, he's fine. The thing is, Maleficent keeps stalling him. I almost want to just retreat and put in Mr. Incredible. <laughs> Maybe we'll win, though. I mean, even though Barbosa is kind of weak, he can still stand his ground. See, he's fine. Alright, this is the final battle here. Like I said, I doubt anybody watches all the way through, but if they do, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, spending the time to listen to me, to watch these characters if you don't have access to them, or just want to see them uh, in battle, leveled up to the level that I brought them to. And yeah, I'll, I'll try to get Mushu showcased, either if I get Tron with him in the next character, or hopefully there'll be two characters um, in the update next week that I can use towards 
showcasing Mushu. I'm sorry if anybody wa wanted to see him in this video. I just don't want to forget about Li Shang because like I said, he is forgettable to me. <laughs> and I feel like if I leave him behind now, it might end up forever. So yeah, we're, we're getting him uh, showcased today. And I also didn't want to do all the Mulan characters in one, even though that was also a, a cool idea. But yeah, let's do this final li line of dialogue. Galloping gumdrops, I did it. Nice nice going, V, but what but what do we use for the secret code? The note you found mentioned something about toys in the room. I think Woody might know what to type in. Alright, Vanellope, try typing in A. A. N. D. Y. Whoa, a hidden door. Just like with the Tron cabinet. Yeah, but this door looks all glitchy. Hold on to your lunches, everybody. I think we're in for a wild ride. So I guess we went through the door, and that leads into chapter 21. Uh, I knew he was going to say Andy when he um, said the A. Of course, that was the password. So I guess it's a little island here. And we'll we'll do that with Mushu and the other two characters next. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Here's me in first place in Coliseum. Um, and yeah, I'll see you, you soon for that next update coming out. Goodbye.